It's 619, and this week marks 50 years since Hurricane Beulah caused major destruction in the valley. And in Rio Grande City, they have joined to remember how this storm brought them all together. Here's Rick Diaz with today's Con Mi Gente. It was September 1967. Hurricane Beulah left behind major flooding and 115 tornadoes. What we're doing, Rick, is we're commemorating the unity of a people, the way that people came together to help each other. So they've set up a special exhibit at the Kelsey Bass Museum in Rio Grande City. Initially, Beulah was a Category 5 storm, but was a Category 3 when it hit the valley at Port Isabel, packing 130 mile an hour winds. Beulah was crossing the valley, but then turned north. Star County residents thought the worst was over. But next thing we knew, the clouds made a U-turn and came straight for Star County. Frances Garza was a nurse and was part of the team at an emergency ward set up at Fort Ringo when the rains refused to stop. All the people that came in and uh, we did our best to tend to their needs and, and the Lord was with us all the way. I mean, everything turned out fine. And it affected communities on both sides of the border. In Camargo and Comales, they were inundated. We had people uh, being brought in to Rio Grande for help by helicopter. You know, we housed people at our house. Everybody did. Romeo Lopez was a teacher in Rio Grande City, separated from his wife, Lydia, who was in Roma with their two kids. I could not go to Roma because the, the Highway 83 was not uh, conducive for us to go by car. Because I had a three-year-old little girl that was just screaming for milk. Betsy Margo's father, Pablo Sainz, was among the ham radio operators getting the information out. Out to the rest of the world for the first couple of days until we got communication. And they all agree it was Dr. Mario Ramirez who brought the ultimate help to the area. He uh, was instrumental in bringing help to us from Santa Rosa in San Antonio, Santa Rosa Hospital in San Antonio, UT Medical Center in Galveston, uh, the Army units from Fort Hood. President Lyndon Johnson came to assess the damage along with then Governor John Connolly. Hurricane Beulah, 50 years ago this week. Back in 67, I had just turned 14 years old. I remember it like if it was just yesterday. I was so scared, I thought it was going to be the end of the world. For Channel 5 News, I'm Rick Diaz, Con Mijan.